Since taking over the reins of the VCU men's soccer program in 2010, head coach Dave Gifford has been working to return the Rams to the national stage. VCU took a step in that direction last season with a pair of top 25 rankings for the first time since 2005. And this year, the black and gold is back for more, ready to contend for an Atlantic 10 championship. You know, going into the third year now, we're, we're you know, a little further along on both sides of the ball. We're certainly a lot further along in the attacking half than we have been. And, and uh, you know, I think it's going to be a good fall for us if we're able to continue to get better every day. The Rams have been hard at work during the spring and summer months preparing for the 2012 campaign. Gifford likes what he's seen so far, but admits there's a lot more to come from this squad. We had some good stuff. Hasn't been great, but it's been awfully good. Uh, and defensively, we got a good, good energy and, and, and a little bit of bite to us. And I think it's just a matter of, you know, kind of drawing those things out to where we can be consistent and, and, and give a uh, give our best performance every day for uh, for 90 minutes. If we can do that, things are going to go well. The start of the 2012 campaign marks a new era for VCU Athletics as the Rams begin their inaugural season in the Atlantic 10. The men's soccer program seems to have already earned the respect of its peers as VCU is picked to finish third out of 16 teams in this year's preseason poll. The Rams were chosen behind only 2011 NCAA runner-up Charlotte and two-time defending league champion Xavier. The A-10 has had, uh, in the last five years, you know, two teams in the Final Four, uh, and it's been, uh, it's been a sneaky good conference you know maybe not one that gets a lot of recognition but a lot of tough games uh, you know certainly places that are, are difficult to go to and opponents that are going to be very difficult to play against and you know I think there's an advantage for us that everybody doesn't know us in and out but certainly there's a, an advantage for them that, that we don't know them as well and so it'll be a good challenge for us. The black and gold return a talented core of players from last season's squad, including a pair of all-Colonial Athletic Association performers and sophomore Juan Monge Solano and junior Jason Johnson. Gifford expects another strong season from the duo, but will look for even more production from his team this fall. Those two guys are, are, are going to have a better year this year than they had last year. But I think we got a lot of other guys. we got a lot of other guys who, you know, when, when you... Uh, when you don't finish in the first two spots in the league, maybe you don't get a lot of love in the uh, in the postseason recognition. You know, I think at this point, we got a lot of guys that are very good players that haven't been getting a lot of love in these preseason teams and those things like that. And, and you know, where at the end of the day, I don't think it really matters. It matters where you finish, not where you start. You know, I, I think our guys take a little offense to it, and so they got a little a little chip on their shoulder. And we got a lot of good players who have something to prove. Well, one thing I can work on right now is it's my work work ethic. Uh, me and coaches have talk, talked a lot about it, and that's the main thing I've been working on all this summer. The Rams have 18 players on their roster this season with at least one year of collegiate experience. With a team full of upperclassmen, the leaders on this squad know what they have to bring each day to be successful on and off the field. I think I just need to um, accept my role as an upperclassman now that I'm a junior and just uh, help communicate on the field, help um, encourage guys. And We all got to come together as a group. We don't really have one leader this year. It's got to be a group of us uh, coming out and teaching the younger guys and even the returning guys and keep pushing myself. It's hard to predict what's exactly in store for the Rams this fall, but if how they perform during the offseason is any indication, it could be an exciting first year in the Atlantic 10.